Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, is Grace Talk, and what I do is solve technical drawing problems and also provide very important information that can help you to have a better performance in your technical drawing examinations. If you are watching my video for the first time, thank you, and please subscribe to this channel. Help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students. Um, we are still working on uh, principles of tangency as we have looked at principle one and principle two. So what we am just doing here, I'm giving information on how to solve any problem that has to do with the use of the principles of tangency. Then let's look at principle three, which is um, as we have here. So principle three is uh, used to join two acts externally. We use principle three to join two acts uh, externally. Let's look at the next diagram as we have here. So I've showed you this diagram before. That is in principle two, in which we have part of an arc. And as I said, that we have two parts of an arc. We have the internal part and we have the external part, as you can see in this diagram. So this is the internal part of an arc, and this is external part of an arc. Then let's see the next diagram as we have here. So this is uh, the uh, another diagram that is showing us uh, what is uh, very, very what is important for us to know when it comes to the application of the principle of tangency in solving a tangency problem. So as we have here that circle P touches arc AB externally. Circle P touches arc AB externally. So this is circle P. So we see that it is positioned on the external part of arc AB. It is positioned on the external part of an arc AB or it touches uh, arc AB externally. Now, let's look at the next diagram where we need to uh, really pay attention. We need to really pay attention to the next slide, okay? Now, as we have here, uh, we have circle P and circle Q. So they are touching this circle T, T or activity, activity they are touching it externally or they are positioned on the external part of arc TT, okay? Now, uh, as we have here, the circle P and Q touch arc TT externally. Then another point that we need to note is that point O is the center of arc. This point O is the center of arc. Then point T is the point of tangency, the point of tangency. Now, for us to locate the center of axe O, we need to find the value of RP and RQ. We need to find the value of RP and RQ in this case. Now, before we go on to talk about finding the value of RP and RQ, radius, radius of circle P is R1, radius of circle Q is R2. Then, Radius of arc TT is R3. So for us to find this point, for us to find this point O, which is the center of arcs, so we need to determine the value of RP and RQ. We need to find the value of RP and RQ. As I said, uh, when I was talking about the uh, about principle two, that when you have a problem like this, you cannot use your French course to produce this activity. If you do that, well, you are going to be penalized for that. But it is expected of you to find this center of arc O, which is very, very important. It will be stated in the question that you show clearly the center of arc and also the point of tangency. It's part of what uh, marks to be awarded uh, for. Okay, now for us to find uh, the center of arc OO, as I said, we need to determine the value of RP and the value of RQ. And do not forget that these two circles, P, Q, they are touching this activity externally. Externally, please look at the difference between what we are doing for this one and the one that we did for that of the internal. So now let's go and look at how we can find the value of the value of rp and rq so that we can determine this point o which is center of x now for us to find rp we are going to add the radius of 
circle P and the radius of RTT, which is R3. That means we have RP to be equal to R3 plus R1. So we are adding the radius of RTT and the radius of circle P, we are adding them together. So we get the value of RP if you add them together. Then to get the value of RQ, we are adding the radius of circle Q, which is R2, then we add it with the radius of RTT. So that is, we have what we have RQ to be equal to R3 plus R2. So once we get this, the value of RP and RQ, then we can go on and locate the center of RXO here. So how do we do that? How do we do that? So we take the value of RP with our compass, position the pinpoint of the compass at center P here, then we draw this arc. We draw this arc. Then we take the value of RQ on our ruler with the use of the compass, then position the pinpoint of the compass at point Q here, then we draw this arc. So these two arcs, they intersect at this point, point O, which is center of arcs. Then we now take the value of R3. We take the value of R3, put the pinpoint at point O here, and the pencil point or the pen point of the compass will toss somewhere around here, then we draw this hack. Okay, so I believe with my explanation here, you have gotten it. So just go on and practice it. Go on and practice it and look for problems that have to do with tangency to solve, to apply these three principles of tangency that I've shared with you. And if you check my channel, uh, there are so many problems that I've solved on the use of the principles of tangency. So you can get those questions, watch those videos, then apply the principles as I've explained here. So, and you'll get it done. I believe you get it done. Thank you. Keep on practicing and God bless you.